Hey guys, Jafar here. A new update just released that added the train event, allowing you to get more loot than ever before at this monument. We'll look at the loot spawns, enemies, utilities, radiation, newly added train event, and how to complete the puzzle rooms. In total, 23 crates can be found across the monument, with 10 found within the central puzzle building, two in the long-standing metal shed, and further crates found across the smaller buildings, towers, and cranes. Additionally, you can find food boxes, medical boxes, and barrels scattered across the monument. This is the loot I have received after one run of the train yard without and with looting the two puzzle rooms. Four scientists can be found guarding specific locations around the monument. They'll be using either an MP5 or LR300, with a total of 150 health. The first two are located near the underground tunnel entrance within the three-story metal shed. For a good advantage point, climb up the closest crane and either peek over the rail or use the small slit in the floor to shoot through. The third is found walking up and down the stairs of the tower at the edge of the monument. I would recommend sitting behind the coal mound where you occasionally see the scientists come down. The final scientist can be found on the first floor of the central puzzle building. For the best cover, go to the ground floor and sit behind the rubble path to occasionally see the scientist. After killing a train yard scientist, these are some of the items you can expect to find. For utilities, you can find a recycler, oil refinery, repair bench, and pump jack. The recycler is located within the three-story red metal shed. The oil refinery is found next to a large water tower within a small shed a repair bench within the long-standing metal shed, out back of the large central building, and finally the pump jack can be found at the edge of the monument, allowing you to gather crude oil. You'll need a total of 11 radiation protection to survive the majority of the monument. At minimum, you can use a burlap set that provides exactly 11 radiation protection. However, there are certain locations that yield higher radiation. The central puzzle building, large water tower, and coal tower all require at least 25 radiation protection, so come prepared if you plan on doing any puzzles. Light switches were just added to the game, allowing you to light up individual buildings, making it much easier to loot at night. They are located in just about every building. The switches won't require additional power, and automatically turn off after a while. I have found a completely enclosed and hidden hiding spot that allows you to sit inside with limited angles to shoot you from. This would be a great place to be if you're being chased or need to dump some loot. To get inside, climb up the main central puzzle building, jump over to the roof of the new rusty metal silo building. Now, line yourself up with the ceiling's center line. Carefully drop down while holding W to move forward. When you're latched on, jump up to enter inside. Two separate underground tunnel systems can be found, which have the chance to contain a crate and provide multiple ways to hide and traverse within the train yard. However, make sure you have a torch as it can quickly get dark. The train event is a new addition to the game, now allowing you to drive and vacuum train cars to access their locked loot. You'll need a green keycard, electric fuse, low grade fuel, and some spare time. Currently, there are three types of carts that include an ore, fuel tank, and loot cart. For the ore cart, you can expect to find charcoal, sulfur, and metal ore. The height of the mound will also determine the quantity of resources contained within. Here is the average resource amount you can expect to find per ore cart when visibly close to empty and close to full, along with the complete averages for what I found when roaming. Next, we have the fuel tank cart that unfortunately provides only a small amount of low-grade fuel compared to the effort required to extract it. This may be changed in the future. Finally, we have loot carts that contain locked away basic, military, food, and medical crates. Here is a sample of the loot you can expect to find. If you're unsure, you can always open it up to inspect the locked loot. This makes it easy to decide if it's worth the effort to unlock. However, we'll need to get this cart to the train yard. For this, we'll need to find a drivable front cabin. You can find both a small work cart cabin that is slow and limited in the number of carts it can push, and a large locomotive that is fast and powerful. Once found, insert low-grade fuel so it can be driven. 
To control the train, tap W or S until you select your design speed and direction, along with A and D to switch tracks when you come up to a split. Carefully drive up to or behind the cart with the locked away loot, so the carts become attached. You can also uncouple them if it's not what you want. You are able to chain together multiple carts and take them all to the train yard. Once you have arrived, dock it with the new vacuum building. A message will appear on the cabin screen when one of the carts are in place. Get out and head over to the building. Swipe your green keycard on the always powered door and enter inside. Climb up and insert your electric fuse. Now use the arrow buttons to the right to move your train forward or back to access additional carts. Select your desired cart and press the funnel button to lower the vacuum and start sucking. At the bottom floor, fuel contents will be delivered into a large red tank, while ores will be dropped off into the yellow skip. For the carts that contain crates hidden under rubble, head back outside and you should now be able to loot them. For puzzles, you can find a green and blue door, requiring one green card, one blue card and one electric fuse. Previously, it was possible to mitigate the blue keycard door by flying down a hole in the roof with your minicopter. This has since been changed, and the hole has been patched up with an indestructible grate. To complete the puzzle, you must first locate the switch within the three-story metal shed. Be ready to fight off two scientists. Once activated, run to the top of the large tower. Again, you'll be met with another scientist to fight off. Run to the top and flick the second switch. Now, run back down and head over to the central puzzle building. Enter the first floor to activate the electric fuse box. You can expect to find one scientist inside. Run back outside and up the stairs. You can now pick between going inside the green puzzle door or continue further up to reach the higher tier blue card door. For the green puzzle loot, you can expect to find three barrels and a single military or regular crate. For the blue puzzle loot, you can expect to find nine military or regular crates and a red key card located on the desk. The train yard was an already lucrative and rewarding monument, but this new train event has just made this monument even more desirable. Expect plans to be using and abusing this new feature in the near future. I'd recommend checking the comments for updates to the train event, as I wouldn't be surprised if certain features or loot spawns are changed in the coming weeks. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.